welcome. Today is Monday the 8th of July 2024. Um, okay, last week, my little fever dream. Thank you for indulging me. And I am still very much in this process, as although it's changing and evolving. And what I am hearing from people I know that um, that work with the general public, that have clients, is a lot of people seem to be doing this right now in one way or the other. They're either sleeping a lot and very deeply. I am pretty much, this last week, it's almost like day and night are just blending and I'm just napping. That's what it feels like. And anything from 45 minutes to two hours at a time. And then overnight, maybe four, and then I'm up for a bit and I'm just in and out. And I think a lot of people are doing this. So let me know in the chat if, if you're one of them. And the other thing that seems to be popular is the burn off temperatures or even fevers. Alicia. Yep. Okay. Um, now I did have and have had an interesting night and morning. And I want to talk a little bit about unconditional love and my experiences with it. My ex first experience of what I would call that unconditional love state, because it's a state of being, was in 2012. And it was triggered by being asked a question, a very deep question that I, I spent probably 24 hours contemplating and kept digging deeper and deeper for an answer that felt um, I don't know, the deepest I could go. And when I got there, it <laughs> activated my heart. And I spent the next three or four days in this kind of elevated bliss state with everything around me glowing beautiful, just seeing beauty everywhere in everything, in the ugliest of places. And the next time was a very similar response triggered by what I believe was a Kundalini experience in the desert in 2013. And that left me there for months. But again, it was this bliss and it was just like seeing the beauty and the, the true essence in everything. And then the third experience was after my Christmas day of 2013. I was there for three months. But my most recent experience of it has been incredibly different. And it was that Kundalini experience in the desert in 13 that had, had me questioning the whole Kundalini thing in the first place what that really is all about. This most recent experience that got triggered in November was none of that. It was like walking on hot coals, slowly, <laughs> with people and events lined on either side, fanning the coals and feeling the pain of every step and having to hold with that, or not even having to, just not even trying to, but just holding within myself a frequency of unconditional love no matter what and seeing and feeling and experiencing the ugly and loving it anyway. Uh, 
it was so it's been such a different experience that those other three feel <clears throat> false light stuff feel manufactured and on and off this week I've continued with uh, temperature changes and noticing shifts with, like I know that the ice has melted so to speak and I'm finally I finally hit the the expelling stage it's been a really slow process but then last night at like four o'clock in the morning This was a very physical feeling and it's going to be really hard to put into words to describe accurately, but it was as if that frequency of unconditional love that was within was brought to the surface like it was surrounding me and coating me and hardening and I heard the words, you have been tempered and was shown like metal and including a metal sword at one point, being tempered in a fire, being forged and tempered in a fire and strengthened. So all this fire, the result was I felt like that unconditional love had been forged into a shield all around my body and it, I can feel it sitting there as like a top layer to me. Have I explained that to the point where you can get a, <laughs> a visual? Um, I saw tempered glass, tempered metal. Uh, all of it being forged and it was like this is I said it before when, when we talked about the snake that our unconditional love is our greatest weapon and it's like it's become both a weapon and a shield all in one and very much came with the feeling of that it was required for what's next. Mm -hmm.